In this Mechatronics tutorial, I'll show you how to program an UNO board like this to connect with the BAR30 pressure sensor from Blue Robotics. I'll be using this Vilros UNO board, which works the exact same as any Arduino UNO or Elegu UNO board. Plus, Blue Robotics sent me their BAR30 pressure sensor. I've got the BAR30 sensor R2RP and the level converter R1RP, which shifts down the 5 volt logic from the UNO board to 3 volt logic for the actual sensor. Here is everything we'll need for today's build. I have a USB type B to USB type A USB cable. That's to connect our computer to the UNO board. Then there's four male to female jumper cables to go from the UNO board to the level converter. The level converter directly plugs in to the bar 30 sensor. And before we get started, I'll need to solder these pins to the level converter board. Solder the header pins to the level converter board. Then connect the male female jumpers between the level converter and the Arduino. Here I have five volts as the orange cable, blue is ground, yellow is the SDA, and green is SCL. Lastly, use the connector from the bar 30 sensor to plug into the level converter. Your system should start to look like this. Now we're going to look at the software. If you don't already have the Arduino IDE installed, you can go to their website, head to their software tab, and then select from the download options depending on your operating system. Once the program has been downloaded and installed, launch the software and it should open up to a screen like this. I'm using version 2.2.1, so my screen may look slightly different than yours. We need to install the Blue Robotics library for the sensor. Let's go to the Add Libraries button and search for the Blue Robotics MS5837 library. It should pop up and select install. The library installed successfully. Select the three dots to the right of the name here for more actions. Drop down to examples and select MS5837 example. You can also access these example sketches by going to file, examples, and then scrolling down to the Blue Robotics library and selecting the example. This opens a new script as seen here. We can take a brief look at the code, which includes the wire.h package, which is a part of the I2C communication protocol, as well as some custom code written by Blue Robotics here in the ms5837.h package. In the void setup loop, Looks like we have the serial monitor baginning here at 9600 baud rate, printing some outputs, starting the I2C communication with the wire package, and then checking to see if the sensor can actually be initialized. Lastly, we set the sensor model down here, and then the fluid density of the water. Note this is 997 kilograms per meters cubed for fresh water by default, and you can update this to 1029 kilograms per meters cubed for seawater. If we scroll down to the loop function, we'll see that the sensor is red every time, and then we update the pressure, temperature, and other variables of interest, which also prints to the serial port, and then we're having a one second delay here, or a thousand milliseconds, before doing this loop all over again repeatedly. Once you have plugged in your microcontroller, go up to select board, and then select the board that you are using. This is what your final setup should look like, bar 30 sensor to level converter to arduino to your computer now that we have everything set up we can click the upload button in the top left of the ide this will do two things number one compile the sketch to make sure everything's working correctly and then it will also send that compiled sketch over to the microcontroller and start running the code the code finished uploading i'm going to go over to the serial monitor in the top right and we can now view data streaming live from the sensor. Here the readings show about a thousand millibar, which is what you'd expect the pressure to be at the surface of the earth. To test the sensor, I applied my own external pressure and saw the readings jump to 1100 millibar. That's all for the tutorial. I hope everything's up and running on your end. Thank you for watching and have a great day.